good. Good morning, fellow firewood fanatics. This is Chris, and I am finally back from my hunting trip. Uh, all my hunting for the year is done, so now I can concentrate on nothing but firewood. So that's what's going to happen. I got a lot of orders that I need to fill, and I got a lot of wood that I need to get cutting for next year. So that's what we're going to start working on today. Um, a lot of you have asked me how I did on my trips, and I'm going to show you what I've done. I've had one of the best years I've had of hunting in quite a while. I've shot uh, a lot of nice bucks over the years, but this year I probably uh, did the best as far as quantity of big bucks. Hunted in a bunch of different states. I uh, went out west a couple different states, Wisconsin, so uh, I did really well. I got some with the bow, some with the gun, and I'm going to show you. So here they are. These are the deer I got this year, a whole bunch of them. So this one here I got with the bow in Wisconsin. It's uh, almost 20 inches spread, so it's a pretty big one, as you can see. Just a three-pointer, no brow tines, so a pretty nice one. Um, this one I got out in uh, South Dakota, it's a mule deer, um, pretty nice one, not a world record, but a nice big muley, biggest muley I've ever shot, I've got other ones, but not, not, not nothing like that. Um, this one I got, uh, this one scored uh, 136, pretty nice buck, and this one is the latest one I got, and this one scored 151, so real nice buck, so there they are. That's all I got. So now we're getting back to the wood. Here we go. So I have been gone for a couple weeks now chasing deer. And now that I'm back, I got a lot of work to do. I've got a order to do today. It's a two face cord load. I'm going to load right now. So it's two thirds of a cord. And I got that one. And then I got one more after that. It's a single uh, face cord or a third of a cord. And I'm going to deliver that this afternoon. And I'm going to do some other work outside. So when I was here last, the work that I was doing, besides delivering orders, is we split a whole bunch of this right here. So we've got close to half of the pile done of uh, that load that I got was the uh, standing dead barkless oak. So this is what's left to split here. So whole bunch of work to do. So that's got to get done. And um, then, as soon as I get this done, or actually while I'm working on it, I'm going to order um, a couple more loads because I've got uh, room right over here for a load to go. So I'm going to put a truckload of wood right there. And then up front here, kind of where I just was, actually I might even be able to get two loads over there, we'll see. And then way up front over here, um, the space up here is clearing out uh, real nice. So I've got a big open spot over here. So I should be able to put uh, a truckload right in here, in this area right here. And uh, cause that's pine that's gonna be sold next summer. Um, so I can actually fill this area right in through here and then all this will get sold right here. So this will be gone real soon. Um, and then it'll open this whole area up here so I can get a, probably a couple truckloads in this space right here. And then I think I might put a truckload way out over there that I will, well my plan is anyway, is that I'm going to um, put the truckload there, then I'll split it, throw it into the trailer, and then I'll dump it in open spots. So I'll just move it to where I have open areas. Um, because that area I really don't want to put wood in permanently. I want to kind of leave that area open because it's close to my other, my other business, my photography studio. So I want to leave that um, area kind of nicer looking, so to speak. So I'm going to do some loading of wood right now, and we're going to go deliver it. Uh, There's a repeat customer. This will be the second load he's getting this year. And uh, so here we go. Loading time.
there it is two face cords or two-thirds of a cord is now loaded into the trailer and uh, it's ready to be delivered so while I was loading I uh, thought about some things that come up quite often I thought I would answer again because I answer this at least two or three times a week in the comments why do I stack my wood in the trailer because I have to provide an accurate amount of wood when I deliver it and so that is why I stack it in there because this particular pile right here was just a big huge pile because I ran out of space for making uh, full cord piles so I just had to kind of stack it into a big big huge pile so when I have time I pull the wood out of these piles like this and stack them into the trailer and that way I know I got the right amount because I don't know how much is was here how much I took but these piles you see over here and the piles that are over here are full cord piles and uh, they they are pre-measured so all I have to do is just chuck them in so some of the wood I have so these piles here are all pre-measured so this right here is a full cord that's a full cord that's a full cord that's a full cord uh, so those are pre-measured so all I have to do is just chuck those in and go I do those on days when I've got a lot of deliveries and I don't want to spend a lot of extra time I'm going to be doing more pre-stacked or pre-measured piles here's a full cord here's a full cord and if someone wants a third of a cord or a face cord i just take one roll if they want two i take two rolls if they want the full cord i take two i mean the full roll and then if they want four face cords which i which is what i can fit in the trailer i take a full cord and then another roll so another third of a cord so that is why i stack my wood um, if i wasn't selling it i wouldn't need to stack it i could probably just leave it loose in a pile on pallets off the ground it would be just fine but i'm selling it so i have to have accurate measurements so that's the number one most asked question. The number two asked question is about the trailer. This is the trailer. The trailer is a 10 foot long. It's six feet wide. And with the sides, it's three feet high. And I can get, if I stack right to this board right here, all the way across the full one, the full load, uh, to here, it's a full cord. So I go to the top and level it. I can get four face cords a or a full cord and a third and if I put a heap to it I can get about four and a half face cords so that would be um, one and a half full cords and then if I want to finish it off with a another um, half of a face cord I usually put that into the truck so I can deliver up to five face cords or one and two thirds face cords at a time so there you go oh and the trailer is um tandem axle each axle is a 3500 pound axle it's the deck over so it's narrow enough that i can back into garages and so each axle is 3500 so the total uh, capacity is 7,000 pounds the trailer itself weighs a little over 1800 it's like 1850 or 60 so my capacity is 5,000 pounds that i can put into the trailer and uh, haul which is a lot um i've only ever maxed it out a couple times when i was hauling some gravel and i went and it got weighed and it was it's a low it's it's a lot wood isn't quite as heavy so not a problem so here we go down the road we're going to go deliver this load and uh we're going to do a shove off in this guy's garage because i'm going to back right into his garage i'm going to shove it off and i'm going to do what what you have referred to as uh trailer surfing when the wood comes flying at me so here we go Yeah, you don't think so, but it goes pretty quick. Every it day. goes. It goes quick. Yeah, every Did day. Did you say your wife likes to fire all the time? <laughs> Mine's like that too. Now when she sees this, she'll she'll start in the morning. <laughs> face cord up to my cabin. Oh, did you? Yeah, me and my sisters went up there. And so what happened is that I'm thinking, you know, my son said he got wood. But him, as far as enough wood and my sisters enough wood, you know, type of thing, 
So yeah. I took a face cord off half a pickup float, so it's not fit for a face. And I'm glad I did because then all I did was just back, just took it out of the pickup truck and left his alone. So, you know, he was bringing some up anyway. So uh, yeah, you always you always burn everything you have. You do. Unless you're a person that doesn't burn much, that just stacks it at the back of his lot and don't cover it, and then it just rots. <laughs> well, when I got thinking about it, I said, well, shit, we could be burning wood all the way to April. Oh, yeah. And so I figured, I'm just going to get it. Yeah. How's your business this year so far? Pretty good? Oh yeah. Yeah, the whole COVID thing actually made business better. 
Because everybody's home. Yeah. A lot of people that were normally at work during the day sure. are home, so they're having fires. So I'm just pulling away from, pulled out from Joe's spot there where I shoved off the two face cords. This is his second load this year. The first load I delivered was a full cord and that was for himself. And the wood that I just delivered now, one of the face cords is for his mom and one is for his son. And uh, so his son's gonna pick up his face cord or third of a cord. And then when Joe goes to visit his mom, he's gonna take the other uh, load uh, to her in his truck. And we got to talking and here, He's taking the wood to his mom and she lives in the town I grew up in where my mom and dad live. I said, well, geez, you should have told me. I said, I'm going there next week, I'd drop it off for you. I could deliver right to her house. So we were talking and here she lives like about five, six miles from my mom and dad. So I, I could have delivered it for him. And he said, no, he's got to go visit her anyway. And he, he said, he's got it. He wants to do it because it makes him feel good and does something for her. So anyway, that's what's going to happen. And then we got to talking and here his son has a side business. He sells sauces. He sells. Uh, pizza sauce and spaghetti sauce and some sauce for doing uh, mixes in making uh, uh, hot dishes and things like that so he gave me three big jars of uh, sauce which you probably don't know this but I am the sauce king I put sauce on everything so that was pretty awesome so we're going back to the wood yard and we're gonna do another load here we go I am back in the wood yard. Just got done with that last delivery and now I'm going to load another load just like it, a two-face cord or two-thirds of a full cord. I'm going to load that in next and that is actually my first delivery for tomorrow morning but I'm going to get it loaded now because I, the next delivery I have I don't need the trailer for because it it's just a single face cord or a third of a cord. So I'm going to load that now and that way it'll be ready for the morning because it's right away first thing in the morning and that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to get that loaded. I wish you could be here today. It is the middle of December. It's 47 degrees out. Sun is shining. There's hardly any wind. It just doesn't get much better than this. For those of you that don't live in the uh, upper Midwest, 47 degrees is like uh, weather that uh, we go out and get tan with. Um, we lay outside and go swimming. Um, and this is December. This is not normal. Normally this time of year, single digits, teens, stuff like that, wind, snow. There's no snow. Well, we had a little bit, but it melted. So this is a gorgeous day to be in the wood yard. Here we go, loading wood. There's that load, it is on, and I just backed up over here by my building, and I hooked up the charger, because I noticed on that last dump, the battery was getting a little bit low when I was dumping. I usually get anywhere from eight to 12 dumps, just depending on how cold it is, and I was gone for almost two weeks, and uh, the battery sometimes just starts to drain a little bit if I don't use it, you know, fairly often. But anyway, it's charging. It usually takes to get a full charge, like, 10 hours or so if it's pretty much around on 10, 12 hours. So I'll just leave it on tonight overnight. I do have a, a 
a lock I put on the trailer all the time when I leave it sitting here, but it's up by my building, up real close, my my uh, my photography studio building right here. So that's where I've got it. So now I'm going to back the truck up over to the pile again, and I'm going to load a single uh, face cord or a third of a cord into the truck, and I'm going to go deliver that because that's my next delivery. That load is actually for tomorrow morning. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go do one more load for today, and that'll be the last load for today. Here we go. So now I'm going to throw a face cord or a one-third of a cord into the truck, and then we're going to go deliver that. So that's what's happening. Here it comes. It's going in right now. So a question that gets asked quite a bit. Have I ever smashed the window by throwing wood? No, haven't. It's not going to happen, hopefully, real soon. Don't really want to break it, but it would be kind of dramatic video if I did. I did break this tail light once. I threw a piece and it hooked on my glove, and so it didn't go flying where I wanted. It kind of hooked and it smashed the tail light, so that I had to get fixed. But that's really the only uh, accident I've had with the truck so far, and it's like seven years I've been doing this with this truck, so. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to throw her on and uh, I'm go deliver this load. So what I usually do is I throw in what I think looks like almost a face cord or third of a cord to kind of get a mound built up kind of from the middle to the back and I leave the front end open so that way I can stack it in there. And again, the reason I stack it is so I get the proper amount. A lot of people ask, why do you stack your wood? He does that all the time. I stack it in here so I'm delivering the right amount. So, and I know I need three rows level with the bed going across and then about a half of a row to make a face cord.
There, so that looks like it might be close to a face cord or a third of a cord. So now I'm gonna go stack it and we'll see how much we got. There it is, it is loaded. So it's three rows and about a half a row, and that's what usually makes like a third of a cord or a face cord. And I started in this pile today, right here. So it went all the way out to, I don't know, about to like the middle of the truck there. So I just cleared all this out. So now I've got a little bit left here, which I'll probably, uh, in this portion right here, I'll probably take that tomorrow and then I can start in on the full cords. There, there, and there. There's some down, down over that way. I can get that cleared out in here. And then this pile right back in here is locust, so that'll probably stay there for a while yet. But then I got other oak, other places that I can get. So here we go, down the road. I'm gonna take this load, and I'm gonna go dump it and bring back some casharonis. Here we go. Just a little smaller, yeah? yeah. <laughs> but just a little smaller. Chris, I'm gonna run in. I, I, uh, my animal is are fella that helps me he uh he's stuck at home with uh, that virtual schooling and such so yeah. I had him cutting the grass until and, and I learned taught him on a, how to ride a use a lawnmower riding lawnmower I had to tape up uh, a big block of wood so yeah <laughs> yeah and even then yeah he was uh Sometimes he wouldn't uh, be able to uh, keep it going because oh, his butt would light. get off. The, yeah, the butt would come off the seat. So put some weight on the back of the seat. Put yeah, some. I was thinking about that. But, uh, yeah, my youngest son, when he first started rolling along with me too. He didn't have enough weight to keep the motor on, so I disconnected them. Oh, I never thought of that. The seat, all of this was a little wire, God. which is the whole reason it's on there. Okay. <laughs> I had to talk with his mom. Uh, Aiden was coming, coming towards the porch right there, and, and uh, his mom was standing over me, starting to take over the ramrod job, talking over me, and it was like, you know, and I had to look at her. Only one, only one person, you know, and uh, yeah. he ran into my porch, broke off a little plastic, but you know, geez. The little kid didn't know who to listen to. Yeah, it's the bosses. Yeah. They're the bosses, but I don't know. Yeah, that's right. Especially if you're the one paying them. Yeah. yeah. You're the only boss that matters. <laughs> 